Ever need a little spark in your life? Wanna shock your family? Need a backup during a blackout? Well, well you've come, come to the right place! Introducing the all new spark set! Here's what you'll need. Three pie tins, three styrofoam cups, tape, 110V neon bulb, your mom's sewer sweater! Just kidding, we don't need that. Your mom might get mad. Instead, we use this piece of wool. And finally, a styrofoam plate. Time to put together your electro forest. Tape the styrofoam cups facing down to the inside of the pie tin and the styrofoam plate to the table. Now you're prepared. Let's get to making it. Place the two uncharged electro forest cup face down on the table. They must be in contact with each other. Rub your mom's favorite wool sweater vigorously on the styrofoam plate for about 5 seconds. Holding the electro forest by the cup, don't touch the tin. Place one of the electro forest on top of the styrofoam plate to collect the electrons. Ground the charged electro forest by making contact with one of your fingers. Holding the electro forest by the cup, bring the Bring the charged electro forest near the two uncharged electro forces, but with no contact. While still keeping the charged electro forest near, slowly separate the two uncharged electro forces. Once the two uncharged electro forces separate, remove the charged electro forest. Hold one of the light bulb wires and touch the other wire to either one of the electro forests. See the spark? So how does it work? Friction occurs while we rub the wool against the styrofoam plate and the plate becomes negatively charged. Friction occurs when we ground it or make contact with the pie tin after it's put on top of the styrofoam plate since the electrons flow down from the pie tin to our finger. Polarization takes place when the protons take one side of the uncharged electrophorus while the electrons take the other side. The electrons of the charged electrophorus attract the protons within the uncharged electrophorus. Induction incurs because the pie tin becomes charged and polarized. Now that you've learned the steps to successfully make a spark, go shock your parents. Call 1-800-SPARKLINE-BLING for your own spark set. We're located in Cupertino, San Mateo, and Walnut Creek. Open weekdays to late, Saturdays and Sundays till 5, online at sparkco.com. 110V neon bulb. <laughs> Can you flip the two things? Oh my god! The, the electrons of the charged electrophorus attacks. Attacks! <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it! Then the induction occurs. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've learned the steps to successfully.